Hello, and welcome to Vesper HPT. Sound concepts with products to reduce your demands on the power grid. Move into a greener tomorrow. Welcome to the future today. All of the information contained within this video can be found at the following forum. That's the teepforum.com. What you are about to see is a collaboration between Vesper HBT, Max, and Richard. This is a coil calculation to show you the voltage and amperage output of a bifilier coil. And here's our electromagnetic bifilier power coil calculator. It's designed by Max and Richard, and all rights are reserved, and it's a copyrighted bit of software. Starting our coil dimensions, we've got our, co our core diameter, our outer diameter, and our coil length. So if we set our core diameter at, say, a half inch, so that would be a 0.5, our outer diameter will say is 2 inches, and our coil length will set at 2 inches. That's our overall dimensions of our coil size. We also have our conversions, just like we have on our power coil calculator. And so we have our fractions where you'd enter your top and your bottom of your fraction and it'll equal your decimal point so you can calculate it out. We also have our metric to inch converter and we also have our wire gauge converter. This software operates a lot like our other program but it's got a few key features. We know what our run wire will be and let's say that it's a 26 AWG. Our next thing is going to be how many turns do we think that we're going to have on our coil? Well, we know that the optimal turns is 1,028, and our max turns on our coil, according to our size of our spool, is 5,190. So our total turns are 500. If you'll notice, we can optimize our coil dimensions by changing our calculations here. If we change our drive input and we put 5,000, 190 turns you will notice that we have optimized our coil. Our optimal turns for our regulated output that we have set is 1208. And what all this means is this gives us our length in feet and meters. This is our pounds of wires location here so we know how much pounds of wire that we're utilizing. And this is our resistance. This tells us what the resistance of our coils are in ohms. And then we have a location here for our magnet size. Now our magnet size is very important. This location here is for a square magnet. So all we're dealing with is the face size of the magnets. How thick the magnet is is not required for this calculation. So if we have a magnet that is three quarters of an inch across, then our diameter would be 0.75 because 3 quarters of an inch is 0.75 in a decimal. We also have the magnetic distance from the coil. This is very important. This is done on a percentage scale. So 0.10 equals 10% of the total distance in our Gauss rating. Now our Gauss rating is going to tell us what our flux field of that magnet is. And it's very important to know about our magnet so we can properly calculate the power output of our coil. So 1 would equal 100%. And it's regulated on a point scale from the face of the magnet away. So we're going to set this at 0.19. And our magnet Gauss rating we will set at 6000, which is an average estimate based upon the size of our magnet. Now there are higher quality magnets that will give you a higher Gauss reading. Now our Gauss reading is going to be very important and that must be filled out in relation to this calculation. Now you'll see our optimum's winding calculation. In our parallel voltage, meaning one coil, then if we want it to be 12 volts output, then you'll see that it's 1059. And you'll notice that our optimal turns is 1059. So if we change this rating here, and we say that we want 120 volts, then you will notice that our optimum rating has changed 
to 10,589. Now if we want a coil that will do that, then we're going to have to change some figures. So our maximum coil dimensions are going to have to be 3.56 and 4.8 to make that happen. So we can set this according to our voltage or we can set it according to our output voltage that we're looking for. So we're going to change that back to 12 volts. That way we equal back out where we were. So you can see that we're optimized on our coil dimensions. Down here on the bottom we've got a section here for our total number of magnets. And if we have this currently set at one coil at 1000 RPMs and one magnet. Now you'll notice if I change this to four magnets, you'll notice that our power changes. And our power output is simply here. We have our voltage output and we have our amperage output and that is converted into kilowatts. And this is the total run and trigger of our kilowatts. The upper location here, this is our run wire and this on this side is our trigger wire. This is a bifilure power coil. In other words, it's going to generate power from both trigger and run wire. Now the combined total is going to be here for our run wire and our trigger wire. So you can see what our volts and our amps are going to be. Anything with a point number is going to be milliamps. Anything with a positive number before the point, of course, will be amps. Now, if we say we are running eight coils with four magnets, you'll notice that our power rating has changed significantly. You'll notice that we're running two amps now on our drive coil or our run coil and on our trigger coil we're going to be running one amp. So our combined total is 361 volts at 3.193 amps. If we change the number of magnets to 8 you will notice that our amperage and our volts changes once again. Now this is all relative to our speed as well. So say we sped this up to 2000 RPMs. You'll notice that our amperage and our voltage changes as well as our watts and kilowatts. So using the calculator is very very simple. The rotor size here is just for your knowledge. Say we have a 12 inch rotor. That is just for your reference. That tells you how much spacing is going to be in between your magnets and rotors. And again that is just for your knowledge. Any other questions about the coil calculator can be distributed to vesperhbt at yahoo.com. And I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial on the, on the bifilier, coil, bifilier power coil calculator. Thank you very much. Thank you and special thanks to the following people that made this calculator possible. Vesper HBT. Max Sackett, Richard Pett, Richard Peterson. All the information regarding this calculator will be forwarded to anyone with a request placed on the TEEP forum. Click on Vesper HBT and email your request. Thank you again and I hope you've enjoyed the video.